Billy Bob. Yes, yeah. let's get it. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Billy Bobby Reacts. It is Metal Monday, and we're gonna be getting into some five finger death punch, wrong side of heaven. Y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and comment and share, subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest content. Drop by the Billy Bob shop, copy some Billy Bob merch, and swing past the Patreon page if you want to be a supporter, help the channel grow. And we're gonna jump on into it. Bow! This is Five Finger Death Punch, wrong side of heaven. Let's get it. The ones that love you the most are the ones willing to fight for you. Five Finger Death Punch seems to be very uh, militant with their videos. I've heard that they were all that they're all ex uh, military. Is that is that correct? Y'all let me know. That's fucking sad, dude. People that are fighting for our freedoms and uh, they should be taken care of, man. Those people should come home, come home and be put on a golden fucking pedestal, dude. But instead, they come back and they're lost because the world here isn't the world that they've been living for the past however long they've been over fighting war, wherever the hell it is they're fighting war at. And then they just feel like that they no longer fit into society and they're not the same as everybody else and that everybody else just thinks that they're crazy and it's fucking sad, man. How many homeless veterans we have on the street. Nothing in return. I spoke to God today, and she said that she's ashamed. What have I become? What have I done? I spoke to the devil today, and he swears he's not to blame. And I understood. Spoke the devil today, and he said that he's not to blame. It's like, man, I ain't even that low. I wouldn't stoop to some shit like that. It's crazy, man, because once again, five finger death punch, man. And like, I've heard the song before, but like I said, uh, it's entirely fucking different when you're watching the video. It just puts a whole new spin on it. Like, you never look at that song the same once you've watched the video. It just gives it an entirely new meaning than what it had before you watched the video. Because when you're just listening to the song, you know, you can make it up in your mind as to what it is and to what it means to you and how you visualize what's going on by what he's describing. But then you watch the video and you're like, wow, man, the song has so much more meaning now. Just knowing the background of it and the purpose of why it was written and why it was and why they're singing it, you know? It's crazy.
I'm not made of stone. Like, just because I go out and do something that you may deem heroic doesn't make me a damn hero, man. It just means that I'm human. I mean, you can look at those situations and go, would you not have done the same? I mean, are you just going to sit back and watch this destruction or are you going to do it? you as a human being feel should be done, not just because you're going to be looked at as a hero because of it, but just because it's the right fucking thing to do, regardless of what anybody thinks or will think of what you did or how you did it or whatever, man. You know, I'm not made of fucking stone. I'm, I'm human, you know, I think, and I'm, I have common sense, you know, I make decisions that anybody else would make. You know, I'm not a fucking hero, I just, I'm only human, man. probably seen that little girl and it reminded him so much of his daughter she was gonna give him flowers and then mom turned around like don't talk to that nasty ass homeless man sitting on the ground and I'm like you have no idea what this man's been through and what he's gone through and what he's done for this country and you treat him like fucking trash dude like he's a worthless human being I mean, you ever just go find a homeless person and just sit down and just talk to them, see what the fuck their story is, man? Because uh, I bet you some of them, some of them people have the most interesting stories that you would ever heard. I mean, they didn't just choose to be homeless. There were events that led up to them being homeless, man. Sometimes it's worth to sit down and listen to see what actually happened and how you got to the point that you're at today. It makes me sick, man, to see that lady walk past and no, come on. Don't pay attention to that nasty ass homeless person. That's fucked up, dude. shot and he tried to save him even though he's putting himself in danger of being shot and killed himself there's still something in his mind that says that doesn't say I need to be a hero and go save this man it goes the right fucking thing to do man is to stick up for my brothers you know I mean they're, they're fighting this war with me and when one of them's down you know I mean you help him back up no soldier left behind, you know what I mean? You take care of your people. It doesn't make you a fucking hero. It makes you, like I said once again, it makes you fucking human, man. If you were to watch that man get shot and just turn around and fucking walk away, that's what makes you not fucking human. That's what makes you not fucking heroic. That's what makes you a piece of shit, man, is when you can just sit by and watch. Just watch this shit happen. World Star! Stupidest fucking channel on the internet.
product of your environment, man. When your environment treats you like you're fucking crazy, sometimes you just feel like you are. Like, everybody looks at you like that. So then it's almost like you start believing it yourself. Maybe I am fucking crazy. Maybe it's not just me. Maybe all these people are right. And you end up like this guy here. He just doesn't even know how to fit into society anymore. Probably end up going back to fucking war because it feels like it's the only place that he can fit in. Somebody, somebody out there, man. They had the same fucking tattoos and looking at this man going, I know what you've been through, dude. I get it. I get what you've been through. I was there. I understand. Here, take them cuffs off, man. Go. I'm sorry. I get why you act the way you act. Because I was there and I lived that shit. And I felt the same way, too. And I battled those demons forever. Maybe he became a police officer after that. Maybe he didn't have it as rough as this guy, but he was there and he experienced it. And something told him, you know what, this man's had a rough fucking life, you know. Maybe he just cut him a break this time, you know. It's crazy, dude. <laughs> You saved my life, brother. And he's looking at him. He got shot. That was the guy that got shot that he tried to save. And that man made it home and made it work. And he was able to fit back into society and come across this guy who saved his life. Who was sitting off in an alley fucking probably trying to figure out where the fuck his next meal is coming from. And where he's going to sleep tonight. And what the hell he's going to do when it gets cold and a bunch of shit that he shouldn't have to worry about, man, because he gave his fucking, he gave his everything to help everybody else be able to live the life that they live and then came back and got nothing in return. It's a sad fucking story, man. <laughs> Those guys the cop one of those four was one of them the cop I didn't recognize him so I'm not quite sure but let me know one veteran every two hours takes his life is that what it said Real shit, man. I'm gonna let that shit scroll through so y'all can see it. These are sad stories, man. It's a lot of people's story. It's a lot of veterans' story. They have that same story. They come back and just couldn't fit in. They end up homeless and treated like the scum of society. And that's fucked up, man. Like I said we should be honoring these people and taking care of these people. Like you would your parents. They took care of you and they helped you grow be the person that you are so the only right thing to do is when they get old to help take care of them well the same thing with the veterans man they they took care of shit that way you didn't have to that way you could live your life the way that you want to live it only to be treated like the scum of the earth that's fucking crazy dude we're gonna go ahead and let all this
a shit scroll. I am down for supporting our veterans, man. And it's already sad enough that a lot of them are over there fighting a fucking war that ain't even their war. They were fighting it for some fucking rich guy who is greedy as shit and wants his way and is willing to sacrifice other people's lives to get it. They're all fighting somebody else's war, but they all have their reasons for doing so, and they all have their purposes for being there. Bump my shit a little bit. Hey, we just gonna let this girl. If you already know what to do, go ahead and comment, share, subscribe, hit the post notification bell. So you can stay up to date with all my latest content. Drop by the Billy Bob shop, copy some Billy Bob merch. And uh, swing past the Patreon page if you want to be a supporter, help the channel grow. And until next time, we out. Billy Bob, yes, let's get it.